Hi! As you guys and girls know, I love making wounds, so be warned, it contains blood. So, <clears throat> I clean the skin and I'm going to mark out where I want the wound to be with a red liner. I decided to go on the side of the wrist instead of in the middle. I don't know why, I just liked it. I'm going to use the Sculpt Gel. I don't use Sculpt Gel that much, so it's good practice for me. I mix equal parts of A, B, and C. Like that. Got a nice consistency. Then I'm going to slap on the gel onto the marked area. Bit messy. And I'm going to build it and blend it with a spatula. Also use a brush dipped in alcohol to blend it a bit more into the skin. Making the wound edge stand up a bit. Like so. Once it dried, I used the setting powder from Meron to remove the shine and I used a fluffy eyeshadow brush. And dust it off. Then I mixed a second batch of Sculpt Gel. I'm gonna go to make the inside of the wound. To give it a bit more definition, just wiggling it around till I'm happy with it. Using a blow dryer to speed up the drying process, although sculpt gel, sculpt gel dries very fast, so you have to work in a steady pace. There we go. Up close, a doesn't want to zoom in that much. All right. And of course, I'm going to set everything. I set everything. I'm going to remove the shine <laughs> with the setting powder from Meron. And again, my loyal fluffy eyeshadow brush. Now you start to see the structure of the wound. I'm going to use, of course, my Encore Blood Palette. I love this palette so much. I use it all the time as you can see <clears throat> it looks so bad <laughs> um, I'm gonna use a different kind of sponges this is a new type of sponge and I don't know what to think of it I'm uh, just gonna give it a go I use a diluted bruised red and purple to build up the color I don't know. Just dabbing it on there, layer for layer. And then I decided, okay, this sponge is not really gonna work for me, so I go back to my non latex sponge that you know I plucked, and for me, it gives a better result. Layer after layer. And I'm going to use some yellow to create a bit more bruising. I have. Um, how did I get this wound? That's a good question, huh? Hmm. First, I'll start to go to the inside of the wound. I use some black and browns and reds to create that with a little brush. How did I get the wound? Maybe I'm trying to um, get something from a narrow space or something that, you know, I got caught on a nail and I, maybe I startled or something and I ripped my hand back and, you know, voila, you got a big nasty wound. So this is how it looks without the blood.
like so. Looks already quite nasty, doesn't it? Awkward silence. I'm sorry. See, you can see the bit on the side. Nice bruising. I have no idea where I run off to now. I guess we wait till I come back. <laughs> slapping out on a table you can see how nicely it moves with your own skin has some nice movement in it okay time for blood so you've been warned oh I, I, I have something new at least for me it's new I bought a whole bunch of these empty mascara wand thingies and I decided to fill them with a bit of blood. I have to remove the excess a bit. Okay. And you can make nice little scrapes and stuff. And how cool is that? I didn't know that, you know. So that's... It's a cool trick, I think, for me. Huh? I didn't know. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use Makeup's Blood Gel Dark. just want to let you see what the consistency is. <clears throat> nice little blob. And I'm going to just put it into random spots of the wound to just add a little bit more goreness and definition into the wound before I go on with my aged blood from old life see how nice it moves with the skin huh? I think that's one of the pros of the sculpt gel when you use Synwax and you bump into something it's completely destroyed so <clears throat> okay mold life's aged blood as you know it's my favorite blood I love the color. Of course, I'm going to use a baby wipe to smudge it. To make it more realistic. Hope it's not too realistic. Don't want to get banned. <clears throat> Tiny bit more. Okay, let's show it. Let's let me show you the movement. See, that's that's gross, isn't it? <laughs> Let's move everything. Yeah, okay. Tiny bit there. Smudging it a bit more. Nice little shine of the blood. And I think we should move on to the mascara wand. You can make it as dramatic as you want. See how nice it works? Just can make slight, nice little smears. Let's go to the end video. See you guys next time.